Micro Projects is a local non-government organisation that works at preventing homelessness. So we help to walk with people through that journey from homelessness to finding a home and a community. I come as a social worker knowing that I'm going to be bringing a group of people with me who have not had this sort of experience before in this sort of environment. And I think that's the most exciting part of the whole project. The value can be just really simply just a human, like a human connection and that's fun. This is amazing because um, I am a disability pensioner. I found the first day that I could hardly move, but by the time the session finished, I actually was becoming a part of the tree and, and reaching down to near the floor, which I normally can't do. One of my brothers and one of my sisters is in the group as well performing. So was, that's exciting because we didn't grow up together. So, you know, being able to do things as adults together is something really special. As a community organisation, when you enter into partnership with something like QPAC, your world expands mm -hmm. and you also move out of your own little box into something much bigger, which is always an advantage and particularly enhances a sense of community for the people I support, that they get an opportunity to engage with an organisation like QPAC, which I often see as just a big building and a big logo. This is the Royal Ballet. Most people only associate Royal with a Royal Hotel. So we've got the Royal Ballet. This is bigger than Facebook. I get a bit emotional, actually. It's something really exciting. And as the day comes closer to our performance, I'm getting very nervous. But I'm also being very excited. Asking people to um, tap into their own expression in, and the, in an environment where there's no right and wrong. It's something I've never ever thought I would be doing. Yeah. I'm 66 yeah. years of age yeah, it's and I'm having all these amazing things on opening up to me mm. and you know when most people get it when they're in their 20s, yeah. I'm 66.